If you bought a Tesla or another EV and you want to do charging at home, it makes sense to do level two charging. That means you need a 240 volt outlet. I have two examples here. One is a 1450 and this one is a 650. There are pros and cons to both. I'm going to talk about them in this video coming up. Welcome to Handy Dad TV. I'm Chris Heider, your virtual dad in the cloud. And today I'm just going to talk really quick about the pros and cons of the 1450 versus the 650 outlet. This is for level two charging. Now every car is going to come with a charger that you can plug into your regular household current, which is 120 volts. But that's called level one charging, which in my case, I have a Tesla. It charges at about three miles per hour, which is really slow. Because if your commute is, let's say, 60 miles a day, that means it's going to take 20 hours for you to recharge. You couldn't really do that on a daily basis and just plug into 110. So the best thing to do is to put in a level two charging outlet. And to do that, there are two main ones. One is called a NEMA 1450, and this one is called a NEMA 650. You can see the difference between the two here. The big difference is that this one here, the 1450, has three prongs on it. Well, act technically four prongs. The top one is the ground, but there's three prongs on the 1450, and there's only two prongs on the 650. Now, what does that mean to you? Well, let's take a closer look here. So look in here, this is the 1450. This has three conductors. These two here provide 240 volts. This one here is a neutral, so this way you can get 120 volts here and 120 volts there. Now, why is that important? Well, this is very popular with RVs, and you can get a lot of extension cords and things like that. Plus, if you ever want to put in an EV charger separate from the one that came with your car, they usually have, 1450 is a very common, I guess standard you could say. They come with plugs like this. Now this happens to be the Tesla plug that goes with it. And then this just plugs into the end of the UMC or universal mobile connector that came with the car. That's the way Tesla does it. I don't know how all the other brands do it, but this is the way Tesla does it. Now another thing you're gonna find is that the outlet choice is important too. This one is a Hubble outlet. It costs about $100 and which is a lot of money compared to some of the cheaper ones that you can find on Amazon. But this is absolutely the best. And I did a video about this. I compared a whole bunch of them, I think about six outlets from Amazon. I really recommend this one. This is, this is absolutely the best. Now, the 650, this is also a Hubble outlet, but um, it's a little bit different. It only has the two prongs and a ground, and uh, it's much easier to deal with. It's lighter. Not that it's, I really shouldn't say it's easier to deal with. In both cases, they only work with copper wiring and they are both made in the USA. And um, let's see, one difference is these wires on the 1450, the wires come in from the bottom, whereas on the 650, the wires come in from the top. Not that big of a deal. If you buy them individually, the 240 volt adapters like these cost about $45 a piece right now. Of course, prices have changed over time. So they were 35, now they're 45. By the time you watch this, they could be 55, I don't know. Anyway, the 1450 outlet is about $100. This one is about half as much, it's about $50. And I'll put links to those down in the, in the description below. All right, I've wired both of these up so you could see a closer look at the difference between the two of them. As I mentioned, this is the 1450. The wires come in from the bottom. This is the 650. The wires come in from the top. But one of the biggest differences, as you can see, this is a two conductor wire. Okay, it's just black and white. This one needs a third conductor, that red one. So this wire costs about 50% more than this wire, okay? So that's a big consideration, especially if you have a long run. Because truth told, the Tesla charger, the UMC, doesn't use this conductor at all. It's just using the two outside ones because it needs 240 volts. It doesn't care about this one at all. So that's actually not needed. Like I said, there is some compatibility because RVs and whatnot use this. If you have a, a big RV and you wanna plug it in your driveway, you may find that this 
type of a plug is, is more useful to you. But for the most part, for your charging purposes, it doesn't matter. So if you really are talking about a long run from your circuit panel to your outlet, this is going to be an awful lot more economical to go with the 650. So that's truthfully the biggest difference between the two. It's not only the price of the outlet, but it's the price of the wire more so. All right, guys, that's the difference basically between the 1450 and the 650. The charging speed is the same. The amperage is the same. It's just a slightly different form factor and cheaper wire. So which do you have installed in your garage? And if you're putting one in, if you're planning to, which one are you going to put in? I did make installation videos for both of these. I'll put links to those down in the video description, as well as to both of these uh, types of outlets. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. If you are a DIY video creator struggling to find an audience, join Handy Dad TV and get instant access to an established audience that will provide more views and income than you're getting on your own. Just go to handydad.tv slash join for more information.